everybody, this is Linda here from Seacoast RV on Route 1 in Saco, Maine. And we are going to take a look inside the 2020 Crop Lakeside Park model. The floor plan number is 8115B. And that B stands for a bunk room. So this is a two bedroom park model and it does not have a loft. When we walk in, you can see that straight ahead of us is the kitchen area and we also have an island cart now that is fully movable so you can move it around uh, have it wherever you want it while you're using it or tuck it out of the way when you're not using it we are going to take a look at the very front which that very front is the second bedroom so if we start in here this is actually pretty spacious it's it's kind of hard to tell from the video or from pictures, but it's very spacious. This is a really large window here on the very front. And then when we look at the bed space, there is a double bed below with storage. You can see a couple drawers there built into the bottom, as well as a wardrobe cabinet with some drawers below. And then there is a twin bed bunk above and it comes with that ladder so you can access that space and there are two nice windows one above and one below so no need for anyone to feel claustrophobic and then an extra bonus is that this bedroom also has its own half bath so right in this bedroom is a lav sink with a medicine cabinet and a light and it also has its own toilet so this is a full bath which is nice now this is an rv toilet which means that this park model has black and gray holding tanks some parks require them some parks don't um, we can also change out that toilet to a house toilet if that is allowable by your park so just double check there and then coming out this room you can see a better look at that walk around island it's fully positional um, as well as the kitchen and these are the silver mist cabinets which have been very popular this is a hide-a-bed sofa so if you need additional sleeping space there is a mattress in there that folds out you do get a couple of end tables with the crop island series and lakeside park model which this is a lakeside and then across from the sofa is an entertainment center bay which we are showing with the optional 32 inch fireplace and all of the rv fireplaces are electric that is by code you will not see any that are propane and there is a heater function in there which you can have either on or off so you can have the heat on to take the the chill out of this area or you can leave it off and just have the ambiance and then there's a space there where you could either mount a tv or you could just have it set on the countertop and looking toward the back you'll see this space here where we have a box uh, that has some plumbing parts those things get installed after the fact but if you're not using this island you can always roll this island right over there and it'll be mostly 90 percent out of the way which is nice there are four stools which you can position and use however you'd like kitchen area now these are ge residential appliances and we're showing these in standard black this is a 30 inch uh, deluxe lp propane range and it does have an over the range microwave with the hood built right into it. It's got a double bowl stainless steel kitchen sink and that's a pull down spray head faucet. It's a nice window there letting in some additional light. We have a shed dormer window above and I just wanted to pan over and show you those two nice big windows behind the sofa and that other window below. I'm sorry above rather. Looking down the hallway we have an 18 cubic foot residential GE refrigerator with storage above and adjustable shelving storage on the side. Uh, pay no attention to those black pipes. Again, that's plumbing that gets installed after the fact. You'll see this has an RV toilet, which means it has black and gray holding tanks, which some parks require and some don't, but it is all set up if yours does. If it doesn't, then we can go ahead and change out uh, the toilets. For house toilets if you want and then there is a corner cabinet above additional storage space 
uh, linen cabinet space there in the bathroom. And those open cubbies, I like to roll up my towels and just stick those in there. I find like that's a great spot to store some of those extra things. This does have a bathtub. So if you like to take baths or if you have little ones that need to take baths, that's perfect. And there's a shed dormer above that window lets in a lot of natural light. And that is actually a window that you can open if you want to do that. Um, you'd have to bring a ladder in here. So good luck to you on that. But uh, the possibility does exist. And then this has a lav sink in here with a mirrored medicine cabinet and a vanity light above. And then looking into the very back, we have the master bedroom. It has a big window on the side, which is, that's actually on the very back wall if we were to go across the back of the trailer. And then looking at the head of the bed, we've got two nice windows, one above and one below, as well as reading lights. And you'll see that there are two nightstands, one on either side of the bed. There's also a cabinet door here on the wall, and that's for the electrical panel. That's one of the decorator touches that Croft does that I really appreciate. And then across from the bottom of the bed, you'll see the wardrobe storage. So we have his and hers wardrobes in here. Behind that mirror door is a, a rod for hanging storage. And then there are drawers below. So nice chest of drawers there in the center with a window above. And that space is all set up for a TV. You'll see a TV jack and an outlet there. So if you want to go ahead and throw one up there, you can definitely do that. We have some extra lights above with that shed dormer window. And then another his and hers wardrobe drawer, or door rather, um, and more cabinets below. So not lacking in storage for sure. And then you'll see a back door, and that is glass from top to bottom. Pay no attention to that uh, cardboard box there that has some extra roof shingles and a power cord, which crop ships out. And then just taking another look back toward the front. This has a nice view of that movable island card as well. But that is going to conclude our tour of the 2020 crop lakeside park model floor plan number 8115B. This is two bedrooms, one and a half bathrooms. You can always call us at 207-282-3511 or find us on the web at seacoastrv.com. Thank you.